Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a banner for YouTube channel using Mid Journey uh, Discord bot. So basically uh, I wanted to create something that looks uh, kind of a futuristic, uh, dark, cinematic and basically I just went to Mid Journey and started typing something that I felt that it can look interesting. So I started typing artistic curved lines cinematic vector illustration. I wanted 16 uh, by 9 because this is the aspect ratio of the YouTube banner. Later on I'm going to show you what I did in Photoshop of course because you can create everything uh, here and if you want to add tags and you know, logo for example you can create everything. But the background which is important I'm going to create in Mid Journey. Now the other alternative was either to create it uh, manually using Photoshop or find maybe something that is uh, maybe a free downloadable background there are plenty of them out there uh, or buy one in stock photography and speaking of the future of stock photography i mean i don't know when i'm seeing what you can actually achieve right now and seeing what will be available in the future uh for seeing what will be available in the future anyway put it aside uh i start looking different things and then i wanted to focus on different colors i would say the playstation here Maybe it can take the colors, but it didn't. I mean, just a bit. So I switch and put something, uh, you know, more, uh, you know, for example, here, cinematic, vector, illustration, galactic, PlayStation, purple, blue, cyan, celestial, iris, high quality. This is, by the way, a mistake, but never mind. Uh, again, aspect ratio 16 by 9. You can see artistic curved lines, and uh, I got some really nice options here of course these are four of them so i can actually enlarge the one that i want so really beautiful curvy lines and this one is really nice this one is really nice and I experiment with different ones this one the one that i actually took and i'm going to show you this is the one that i chosen but there are more examples here i put i think i put one with horizon or something it's not here now right so you can see more this is good uh, for the channel because there's a kind of a line you can actually put text on the top at the bottom you see more of course you can have different variation different colors i just added the colors because i wanted something like that so that's what i actually imagine All right finer lines of course you can add more keywords to maybe emphasize finer lines up to you to decide uh, what you want. All right, so let's go to Photoshop and I'm going to show you actually the end results and what I did in Photoshop in order to create it. All right, so uh, let's take a look. All right, back to uh, Photoshop. You can see that I already kind of make a kind of a temporary banner. Uh, basically, just maybe this is kind of a look at it as a logo placeholder. Uh, I put, for example, for VR gaming and uh, basically the core one without all the changes look like that so basically it was without that one this one this one so it looked like that but i wanted to make some changes and make the saturation higher also when you view it this is by the way the the area where you should the main tags and things should go because on the desktop you're going to see this one and on the other areas on tv you're going to see everything so i kind of mark this middle area where everything should be and I saw that this area can actually just a bit too pink and I wanted higher saturation, higher contrast. So basically I just uh, added things. I duplicate the layer here because before that it was kind of a grayish. So I duplicate the layer and put it again. And I added a bit of darker here area. I put uh, VR gaming here, text. Uh, also I beat it the back. So we want to kind of, a, I, don't, I didn't want it to appear just very sharp dark. So I did just a bit and move the vr game with light to color just a bit at the back and i uh, also created um i went here and created an arc 50 percent and rotated the text a bit and just aligned it so it actually appears as you can see here on top of the line all right i did subscribe the same thing the same effect edit text all right and uh Again, placeholder for the logo. And that's about it, that's the banner, all right? So basically, as you can see, you can use Midjourney to generate some illustrations and a beautiful art to put it at the back and create some really nice 
YouTube banners. All right. Uh, you can also create wallpapers for your phone, for your desktop. I'm just going to show you an example in a moment. It's very, very easy. Uh, again, you just need to describe what you want. So let's jump in and show you how we can create one uh, for your mobile phone. All right, so back to me journey. I uh, just de decided to generate something in aspect ratio that is for my OnePlus 6 smartphone. So it's nine by 19, if I'm correct. And uh, basically just take, took something similar to what I did and just just told it to generate, you know, nine by 19. All right, so you generate two wallpapers. Uh, and by the way, if you want something that is not as sharp, you can add some keywords like smooth uh, gradation or something like that uh, and can get some really nice. If you see that it's too noisy, for example, or you can just go to Photoshop and, you know, do some correction there and smooth things out, whatever you like, it's up to you. Uh, but, you know, you can describe things here and if there are some changes, you can do this in Photoshop. So here you go. We got a few examples already. Right, and if I see that's something that I really like, and you can describe, you can describe whatever you like. So if you want specific, different colors, different theme, different look, something that you like, you can just describe it and we just generate it here. Again, whatever you like, basically, you describe whatever you like to your wallpaper to be and let me journey do the work. Of course, again, be descriptive uh, as you use it usually. I'm just using the same thing. This one looks nice. Uh, I think, and uh, you can just go on three and choose uh, to render three, all right? And then I get higher resolution of it, and uh, I can just uh, download the image and send it to my phone and use it as a wallpaper. So basically just describing what you like, giving the aspect ratio, and do it. Otherwise, if you want to bring it to Photoshop, add some text or something of your own, and overlap some, I don't know, images, images, whatever you like, you can do it, all right? So this is another one rendering, and that's how we create some wallpapers for your mobile phone. And of course, you can change the aspect ratio for your desktop computer, for example, and create something else. And that's it. So this is just a few tips, how to use MidJourney uh, for your kind of a workflow when creating some art, whether for YouTube, whether for wallpaper. And of course, there are many other uses for it, and again, very easy and just go and do it very very easy so this is it for this video i hope you find this one useful consider leaving a like in subscribe what do you think about it looks nice huh and that's it i see you on the next one thanks for watching everybody